This mini PC has two Ethernet ports, run Windows 11 Pro, and pulls barely any power, which immediately made me think, home lab. Let's jump in. Inside the box, you get the Mini X Neo Z97 itself, a 12 volt, 3 amp DC power adapter, mounting hardware, and the usual documentation. Nothing flashy, but everything you need to get up and running quickly. Right out of the box, the thing that surprised me was its size. Man, this thing is tiny. The other thing I noticed, this thing feels pretty solid. It's compact, lightweight, and small enough to disappear on a desk or heck, mount behind a monitor. What really stands out to me though is the port selection. On the back and sides, we get two HDMI 2.0 ports, three USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports, a three and a half millimeter audio output, Wi-Fi 6, and Bluetooth 5.2. And most importantly, two gigabit ethernet ports. That dual NIC setup alone already makes this interesting for firewalls, Proxmox, Docker hosts, or lab testing. Let's talk about what's actually powering this thing. Inside the Neo Z97, we have an Intel N97 processor, 12 gigabytes of LP DDR5 memory, a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD, and it ships with Windows 11 Pro already installed. That combination puts this unit squarely in the low power, efficient mini PC category, but with enough performance to do real work. One quick note on upgrades, the storage unit is upgradable, which is great. You can swap out the NVMe drive if you want more space. The memory is the LP DDR5, which means that it's soldered and not upgradable, which is unfortunate. So keep that in mind, what you buy is what you're locked into. So how does this thing actually perform? For everyday tasks like web browsing, office apps, YouTube and media playback, remote work and admin tasks, the thing's completely smooth, works great. The Intel N97 isn't a powerhouse, but it's very efficient and responsive for normal workloads. Boot times are quick, windows feel snappy, and I had no issues with multitasking at all. Now let's talk about why you might actually care about this mini PC. With dual gigabit ethernet, low power draw, and NVMe storage, this thing is perfect for a small Docker host, a pie hole or ad guard unit, a VPN gateway, a firewall or router lab, a Proxmox test node, or even a lightweight Unraid test box. I wouldn't replace a full Unraid server with this, but as a secondary node, a test machine, or an always on service box, it makes a lot of sense. Thermals are always important with mini PCs. At idle, the system stays cool and quiet. Under load, the fan does ramp up a bit, but it never got obnoxiously loud. For something this small, thermals are totally reasonable and I'd be comfortable running this 24 seven. Now let's talk about power consumption. This is one of the biggest wins. The Neo Z97 runs off a 12 volt, three amp power adapter and power usage stays extremely low. That makes this a great option if you're trying to keep electricity costs down or want something efficient that can stay on all the time. The good, here's what I really like about the Mini-X Neo Z97. Dual gigabit ethernet ports, very low power consumption, compact, and a fairly clean design. NVMe storage included, solid build quality, Windows 11 Pro out of the box, and now the bad. Of course, it's not perfect. There are downsides. The memory is not upgradable. This unit is not designed for gaming, which should be pretty obvious with the size of it. Limited CPU performance for heavy workloads, but honestly, none of that is surprising for a mini PC in this class. So the final verdict, should you consider this mini Neo Z97? If you want a quiet, efficient mini PC for everyday use or a home lab box with dual ethernet, this is a solid option. It's not a gaming machine, it's not a workstation, but for services, labs, automation, and light server tasks, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. And it does it well. If you found this review helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. All the links for this mini PC and the accessories I recommend are down in the description. Until then, check out one of these next, and I'll see you in the next one.